with any collaboration, you just kind of jump in and start playing and then things kind of take shape. Any like creative project I've ever been a part of, uh, whether it's music or otherwise, kind of just has a life of its own. Yeah, we started playing together in like 2010 and it was just kind of simple garage rock sort of thing, but um, some of the influences we had in common with Shanti over here and so he and Brendan joined up and sort of saw what we were going for and kind of helped bring it to what it was supposed to be as a four piece. The That's one of my favorite things about how we do the band is kind of the, the dead space. You know, that's where you can actually sink into a groove, I think, and that's really apparent in the rhythm section and drum and bass. And then guitar, you know, like I try to, where possible, think about holding back. Definitely just leave room for the vocals because, you know, that's, that's the story and I feel like it, the guitar is just supposed to kind of like pick up where that left off. And we're not afraid of a groove just to like just sit there. I know would always say we, we got deep pockets. Uh -huh. deep pockets. Know, like, it's a deep pocket. You know, so really, them, but there's <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's this thing where people are like, oh yeah, you're in that queer rock band, Magic mm -hmm. Mouth, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're also just in a rock band. Being queer is just one little facet of our identity. It's definitely a, yeah. a double-edged sword. You know, you just yeah. want to be an artist. Then also, like, there, it is important to like go and to be this person that shows everybody that we are pretty much the same, you know, so. I think in Portland we used to hear I used to hear at least the whole queer band thing a whole lot more and I think that a lot of our Portland community kind of just gets it better now. Yeah, I think it happened so. a lot more when we first started to play shows. We'll show up with these guys and they're like, oh. I, mean, <laughs> I will say that it's <laughs> rude. <laughs> like, You're the queer one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember growing up and listening to gossip and bands similar that were identified as queer and just being like, oh my God, like they're out there doing that and they're like successful. That's like, yeah, I mean, so that's, inspiring, you know? I mean, and there's a ton of queers in music. There should be more and women and you know what I mean? Like it's not like rock and roll isn't a, straight dudes thing. It's not. The lyric is, no, 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 no way I can live, like, you know. Uh, it's just talking about like growing up uh, as a queer black person in this country. You know, I grew up and I had to, I had parents that like told me that this is something that you can do. You can't do this because you're black and people are gonna say this. You need to stop doing that because you can't be a faggot. And so the song, um, it kind of just talks about that moment where I made a decision that I was not gonna live that way. The lyric is, and I don't know what's come over me. And I just say that like over a few times, you know, and I didn't
didn't really <laughs> really know what came over me, you know? And that's what a lot of our songs are actually about. So, yeah, it, it, gets, it gets real, it's political, yeah. but it's danceable. Connecting, and that connection is all about truth. You know, as different as we are, and as um, varied as our backgrounds are, there's this human connection that is always there. And there's a lot more similarities than we let on a lot of the time. You know, it's like they're in practice with us, or like in like the studio with us. It's just like what we're feeling, like in this moment. You know, all of that, and that's really special to like share with our audience. <laughs> 